Welcome to the final episode of Forbidden Frame Season 1. Uh, let's take a look what my challenge is. Photography style, focus on creating a story with collages. Preparation time, there is no preparation time. Challenge, the majority of your images are focused on posing in full body shots. For this session, you must create a series of images that can be arranged into collages with close-ups and medium shots. You'll have only 12 shots per film to create your wall collage. Time, you have only three hours to complete the session. Equipment, a Zenza Bronica S and Siconic Light Meter. Film type, 120 color and 120 black and white film. Lighting, natural light model. For this session, you need to collaborate with another boudoir photographer who has never modeled before and is comfortable with being nude. Passing rules. You must have at least six images from each film roll with different framing to complete this challenge. And if you fail the passing, you will have to redo the nude photo session and be the model yourself. Uh, the pass or fail will be determined at the end of the session. Hmm. All right, um, challenge is accepted. Let's see what the equipment we have here in the box. Here's my camera, Zenza Bronica S and my Siconic light meter. Okay, let's see if we're gonna make Buddha photography history with Zenza Bronica S or not. Zenza Bronica S is a 6x6 medium format SLR camera that uses a mirror and prism system to show exactly what the lens captures. Released in 1961, this camera quickly gained a reputation for its solid build and its versatility. Uh, the 6x6 cm format delivers high resolution shots, making it a favorite for commercial, fashion and fine art photography. The camera uses 120 roll film, uh, which offers 12 exposure per roll and provides large detail negatives. One of its standout features is the interchangeable film bags, uh, allowing photographers to easily switch between different types of film in the middle of their shoot. Unlike many SLR cameras that rely on focal plane shutters, the Zenza Bronica S features leaf shutters built into lenses, allowing the flash sync at any shutter speed, making it ideal for studio photography where precise lighting control is crucial. The collaboration with Nikon, particularly the use of Nikkor lenses, positioned the Zenza Bronica S as a formidable competitor in the medium format market. Zenza Buro Yoshino designed the Bronica Zenza S with precision and flexibility in mind, leading to a modular design that enabled photographers to swap out lenses viewfinders and film bags making the camera highly customizable for professional use. Photographers like Hiroshi Sugimoto began their careers with Bronica cameras, using them to create stunning detailed images, though images of uh, Sugimoto holding a Zenza Bronica S are difficult to find online. The modular design allowed easy adaptation to various needs, whether change, changing lenses or switching between back, black and white and color film on the fly. Uh, this camera earned uh, the nickname Japanese Hasselblad because it offered similar features to its European counterparts at a more affordable price, uh, attracting professionals who needed high performance on a budget. The camera gained a strong following in Japan, with photographers valuing its combination of quality and cost-effectiveness. 
It is also well known for its unique shutter sound and vibration, making it easily identifiable. Today, collectors and vintage camera enthusiasts actively seek out the Bronica Zenza S with prices ranging from $300 to $600, depending on condition and included accessories. Today, we're in a village outside of Zurich. Uh, we're in this beautiful, beautiful place where we're gonna do a session with our model, Marina. Uh, Marina, she is actually a professional boudoir photographer. She has a studio here, not far from this place. And I'm super excited to work with another photographer. <laughs> <laughs> so for this session, we are going to work with Bronica uh, Z. Uh, so and the, for the film, we're using 200 ISO black and white, uh, 120 film. So super excited because I've never shot in a location like this one. And uh, I think it's very inspirational and I have so many interesting shots in my head to work on. So let's hope for the best that uh, this camera is going to uh, create stunning images with our beautiful model Marina. We only have one hour before it starts raining. It's overcast right now, perfect lighting. And we are going to shoot in three different locations. So we're starting from here in this beautiful field with a barn uh, on the background. I absolutely love the vibe of this place. And then we're gonna go uh, the other direction with the, um, the pond or the lake view. So we're gonna use that little bridge or area uh, over there for posing and after that we're going to go there's like a yeah, cute steps going somewhere also to another field and we'll capture some images over there as well so um, let's get started we're yes. gonna start from here we're gonna change and um, okay. so let's start from over here we're gonna change really quickly and start the session so I just wanted to keep in mind that everything is going to be more in a casual natural type of mm, less posed manner and I really want to capture some detail shots like for example detailed shots of you uh, walking touching the grass things like that so very soft uh, romantic I would say type of uh, style of so, images okay yeah. all right Let's, um, okay. um, he's not going to record while you're changing. You're going <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> we're going to go downstairs, down there, and yes. I don't know, you're going to anywhere where the you're guy comfortable. Who jogged? Mm -hmm. uh, he even said good morning, everybody, even my is standing on the way. <laughs> he's like, oh my god, sorry. Yeah, you're, you're still being recorded. Oh. <laughs> okay. I uh, don't remember if I mentioned, but uh, we are now using black and white film and we're going to capture all the images on the way um, till our last uh, location. And then on the way back, uh, we're going to use uh, color film. So we're going to change the film and uh, capture more images in color. And we'll see what works better. Um, I'm pretty sure both will work good. If the camera works, good. <laughs> <clears throat> this is so pretty. Okay. <clears throat> so you can change and I'm going to check on my composition. So, anywhere where you're comfortable. Yeah, maybe that over there. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to do one shot of her tippy-toeing, like walking, to create some sort of story with this session. So she's going to walk this direction 
and then she's going to go towards the field and I'll do some so that's going to be how many shots look um, tippy toying maybe walking uh, that direction and then being in the field uh, with her hand touching the the hay grass or whatever it is and then being inside of that field so that's going to be four shots and the sun is coming out i think it's going to be nice with actual sun okay No what? Ah, no shoes. <laughs> Maybe, here and then... Maybe you walk here and then take off your shoes. I don't know. Oh, it's sunny. Press the back forward. No, no, press the back, <coughs> press the back forward. Press back? The, yeah, the back of it. Ah. Uh. Okay, I think I'll do this first. This composition is nice. Um, so what I see over here, there is like a box lines. Uh, is it just inside of the... or know. outside as well? I think outside too. Outside I, too? I don't, I don't know. To be safe, I'll try to frame it for them. Mm -hmm. Without and just put the the the, the thing on, yeah. Uh huh. Um, what did you say? I said just to be safe. Consider inside the box. Someone is walking there. Yeah. Okay, just to be safe. Um, how about our light? Let her come, and I'll meet her. Can I stand here? What are you doing? Uh, 2.8 uh, and 5. Right now it's 500. So this is already advanced, right? Yeah. 1000. Because I, I see it's like so pretty from this angle, from like down here, and she's in between just being nude and touching this it's so pretty it's not very transparent so it's comfortable yeah come come over here it's it's okay are you okay barefoot yeah okay so i was i'm thinking to start from here and what you're gonna do if you step in there um we will do without the um without the shirt over here you mean totally naked uh are you or on, or you are can you on, hmm? are you on yeah <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it okay. um so it's going to be shot from behind 
we purchased the Zenza Bronica S while we were in Barcelona and it was a tough decision because camera prices in Spain are about 50% higher than in the US market. Uh, we visited at least four shops in Madrid and Barcelona uh, before finally deciding to buy a camera outside of the US. We had one more stop in Switzerland and the only film camera we had was from 1930s, which wasn't part of this season's challenge. Later, I found out that Eliar had borrowed the Bronica Z and added it to season before we left on our tour, but his friend sold the camera, so it was no longer available for the shoot. So he had to buy the exact same camera because we had already announced the challenge with the Zenza Bronica S. Anyways, the best shop Eliar found with reasonable prices and helpful customer service was Casanova photo in Barcelona. Uh, he ended up buying a few more analog cameras from the same shop and we actually had some fun playing with them with Marina, our ambassador in Zurich, Switzerland. However, I wasn't able to use the Zenza Bronica S until the actual photo shoot. I know Eliar was trying to figure out how it worked during my nude photography workshop and I was pretty excited, excited by the conk sound it made. <laughs> I have to admit this camera felt like a tank. I eventually got to use it on the challenge day working with Marina. Honestly, going from the smallest 35 millimeter camera in my previous episode to the biggest analog camera I've ever held was quite an experience. The camera was straightforward and easy to use except that I had to use both hands to hold it uh, steady due to its vibration. And I used 120 Cinestel double X uh, film, which is similar to the motion picture film I used in my last session with the Rolly TE. And I also used a Porta 800 color film for the uh, second roll. Oh, be careful. What if we do one shot over here, sitting? Maybe a little bit where the light is. So maybe somewhere there, where the last step is. Not the very last, but yeah, before the last five steps. Let's see how the light falls on you. If you sit down. Uh -huh. And is it cold? Is it, if, what if you lean back? I think the next set of stairs will be more balanced. More balanced? Yeah. On the next set. What do you mean more balanced? You see there's more light over there. It's still yeah. Like it's in I think. Yeah, maybe here then. On one of those steps. Yeah, right here. And you can see it in a way that it's like super awkwardly casual like to do like a and weird a shot behind us is Shari, like don't let her pass <coughs> but she's on her mobile uh, oh yeah 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 let let her pass yeah you can do it. Her from her is she older no she's young but she's probably she's waiting i think she's waiting for us but oh. you don't have to take it off completely so just take off shoes and when you're kind of sitting, let it fall. Okay. And then if she's, oh, she's, she's yeah. passing. The church is ready. This is also interesting. The, the colors over here, I think is good for that in color film. 
So if you sit over here or stand, I want to see how that looks. Yeah, it's interesting. Good morning. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. Okay. Don't lie to her. The light is falling <laughs> from that side. Let me see if I can step lower. Oh, my, my light meter is about to die. Oh. Yeah. So here's probably 2.8. Tell me which numbers. 1,000 shutter. Uh-huh. And 2.8? 2. 2. Yeah, it's showing 1.0 1. even. Almost. Okay. So we're going to so, be a little bit underexposed. That's it. Okay. So you're going to take off shoes and then when you're sitting, mm -hmm. you're going to just like uh, pull the shirt down and kind of like sit like this. I'm going to grab it from you. I'll be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, on, on the on the thing, can you? S yeah. yeah. Is it <laughs> uncomfortable? <laughs> well, find a place where it's comfortable. Okay. Uh, mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> You don't have to, yeah, you can sit on the shirt, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And then kind of pull it down to your breasts. Yeah, it's cute. Over here, you're going to open this up. You have the lock button or unlock. You're going to unlock this and this is the back of your camera right here. So this is where you will load the film. So you have this spool in the bottom because that's how, you know, uh, when you finish the film, this is how it's going to be. So you want to take this out, just pushing it to the other side and make sure that this is in the top. Okay, now my 120 film is in the top and then I'm going to load the new film in the bottom over here, right here. So let's put this one in the bottom. Doing this upside down, so hold on a second. Okay, just push it to the side and make sure that it's in there. So with these films or this type of cameras, you want to go the other way. So this side of the camera is actually supposed to be exposed um, to the light. So this is where your negative is going to be. So I have it here. I'm going the other way. And then I'm going to put the film right here. Just enough so it can lock it in there. Okay, let me do this where I can actually see. Okay, here is the film slit. And I am turning it this way because I want the film go that direction okay so now that I know the film is in there nice and neat I have this indicator here this red indicator that is going to have to match uh, or line up with the film indicator the arrows over here so I'm going to put this in the back of the camera the right way <laughs> this way okay and I'm going to manually advance the film so I can manually advance the film unless this is pushed in. So I'm gonna give it a little push. Let's try that again. Give it a little push and advancing the film. So I wanna advance the film until I see this arrow over here is lined up with this indicator, red indicator over here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. Indicator and the line. Okay, and Try it again. You want to make sure that you're pushing it in, otherwise the gears are not gonna not gonna work. 
Okay, that's pretty good, it's lined up. I'm gonna close the back and then lock it. Okay, and now I'm gonna attach it to the body of the camera. So you wanna make sure that you put the bottom part first and then just close it. So bottom goes, there's a latch over here, you're gonna latch it right here, let me show you to this camera. The bottom and then press it and the film is gonna be in there. I was so distracted by the beauty of the landscape that I didn't find the session challenging at all. I just wanted to capture all that nature in my frame and the 6x6 cm medium format camera was the perfect choice. However, I completely forgot about the challenge, which was to create a collage with lots of close-ups and medium shots. So after the session, I was surprised by the failed challenge announcement. I had to step into Marina's shoes, which I didn't want to do because it was a new session and I wasn't ready for it. So before handing the camera to Eliar, I intentionally messed up the mirror lock mechanism <laughs> so he couldn't take any photos of me and um, would have to postpone it to another day. Well, however, Marina was super excited that she pulled out her digital camera and was ready to photograph me mute. Well, eventually Eliar couldn't figure out how to fix the Zen Zabronica S. His video camera and gimbal were running out of battery. It was about to rain and we had a long walk back. So Marina quickly took a few shots of me with her digital camera. And with that, we ended this episode and I ended up paying the price for failing the challenge, which I tried to escape. All right, now I would like to take a photo, a few photos of Yulia in the same uh, location. Uh, we will, I uh, would like to capture her in nude and also probably with the white shirt holding the, the film camera. Okay, you ready, Yulia? Yes, please. You can compose. Yes, I will compose. For people to That's start. true. I like that how you were looking down. Breathe. Why do I ask people all the time to breathe? Yes. I'm not sure if it's a good, good treat. Like to, to uh, yes, that one. Yeah, that's, that works. Yes, breathe. Thank you very much. Bring the camera a little bit out. Yes. I love this. It doesn't look like I'm nude, right, Eliar? No. It will be when I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, one I more time. A little bit shirt up. For this session, we spent $830 on the camera, about $60 on 120 film, $120 on processing, printing, and lab fees. We spent about $300 on the hotel room and about $400 on transportation and flights. So the total cost for the session came out to $1,710. And $1,710. You're back? Yes. Um. Zenza Bronica. Hold on, let me give you the mic. Zenza Bronica. Cal, sit over here. Da -da -da -da. Ooh. Zenza Bronica did such a good job. Wow. Japanese Hasselblad. I absolutely love it. This is a little bit too far. <laughs> but yeah, still interesting. Oh, this is so, oh, look at this. It's like so in focus and the foreground is blurry and look at this.
reflection is really nice. Tree reflection. Mm-hmm. This is pretty. This is beautiful. This one is a little bit overexposed, but still good. Mm. Not my favorite one, but we have already some some really good images. This one, I think, blurry, right? I think focus fell on. Yeah, those first, those are the first shots mm. where you didn't uh, focus. You were not even focusing. You were just taking a shot. Mm. Well, despite uh, failing the challenge, I was able to make Boudoir photography history with the Zenza Bronica S. Here are the final images I selected for our upcoming book, Forbidden Frames, 100 Years of Recreated Boudoir Photography History. Don't forget to visit BIB TV to watch the complete behind the scenes of the session. It's now available on Forbidden Frames, Season 1. See you next week with another camera, another model and another location. Believe in Boudoir!